So now in this video, we're going to look at a circuit that I came up with a while ago. So it starts when I release the button right there. And right now the lamp is at the lowest setting. And so it's going to take a while for that LED to turn on. The time that it takes to turn on actually depends on how much light falls on that uh, photodiode right there. Which is reverse bias, um, by the way. And there you can see that it took a while to turn on. Now I'm going to make the uh, lamp brighter and uh, press the button. Again, it starts when I release the button because it depends on how fast the capacitor charges. When I'm pressing the button, the capacitor is discharged. So there you can see it's going a lot faster because we have quite a bit more light falling on the photodiode. So now I turn the uh, power off and move things around so we can see things better. First off, we have to power the 555 timer. That's where we're using an NE 555 timer. Pin 8 to the positive supply right there. And pin number 1 to the negative supply. So that provides all the power and our 1 3rd and 2 3rd of the supply voltage. There's a voltage divider in there. That's what pin 2 and pin 6 are looking at. Uh, also, we have pin 4. So a low input to pin 4 basically uh, zero volts, we'll set the output low and hold it there no matter what. Um, so we're going to the positive supply, uh, holding five volts, that makes sure it doesn't do anything. It won't uh, reset it, uh, so we got that there. Now, we can uh, we can go to the switch, why not? Uh, we got pin six, and uh, that's when we add the capacitor that can instantly discharge it. And so we need to tie pin two and pin six together so I'm going to do that jumper uh, right now, pin 6 and pin 2. We're not doing anything with pin 7 right there. When it comes to the photodiode now, so you use it uh, reverse bias. So this is the uh, cathode. I don't think there's a flat edge on these photodiodes. Um, actually, yeah, I think there is. Um, but it's kind of hard to see because it's clear. Uh, there's a little flat edge uh, right there. But in any case, the shorter lead, if you haven't trimmed them. And uh, so that gets more positive. So that's reverse bias. This is the way that it does not conduct as easily, but uh, since it's a photodiode, how well it conducts while well reverse bias depends on how much light is falling on it. So more current flows as more light is falling on the light dependent resistor. I mean on the uh, photodiode. And um, so we have the capacitor right there, 1000 microfarad. And I probably just tried different values and found this one worked. And uh, we want to go, uh, so it's polarized. That side has to be more negative. You gotta charge it the right way. If you charge a high voltage, and uh, when it's uh, backwards, it could uh, burst. Um, that's what these vents are for. So it can release gas right there. Hopefully nobody gets injured or anything. And uh, so we got the capacitor. So it can charge through the photo dial based on how much light is falling on it. The power is turned off right now, so it's not charging. And um, so it charges. When it gets to two thirds of the supply voltage, pin six sees that and it sets the output low. When we press the button that discharges it, less than one third of the supply voltage, pin number two sets the output high. So our LED lights up when the output is low. We'll look at that. Uh, looks like um, we're all wired up. So we're gonna do that. Notice how the switch is parallel to the capacitor. So that little jumper is coming to the top of the switch. So right there goes to ground when we press the switch. Again, power is not being applied right now. So that brings us to our LED. As I said before, it lights up when the output is low, basically when it connects to ground, which it does really well. And that should make sense because we're gonna put the uh, anode side to the uh, positive supply. So it doesn't matter what order the resistor and the LED are in, we're gonna put the uh, LED to the positive supply. So this is a little odd. Usually I work uh, positive up, down to negative. So usually the anode is above the uh, cathode. Cathode again is the shorter lead. The longer lead is the anode. And um, so if you put it in backwards, it's not gonna light up. Uh, so to the positive supply, we want the long lead, the anode, and this screwdriver is magnetic. And um, so apparently are those leads. So shorter lead, the cathode is up above right there. And um, so that's just an easy uh, positive supply to uh, go to. 
so I figured I would put up there. So again, these are swap position there. 220 ohms is a good minimum uh, resistance to protect an LED from five volts. We'll get about uh, probably like 15 milliamps of current or something uh, with the two of them right there. There'll be about three volts across the 220 ohm resistor. Doesn't matter which way you put uh, the resistor in. So that's going to the output uh, pin number three right there. It's either high, it's like four volts, um, maybe three and a half. And uh, when it's providing current and when it's low it's like zero volt basically connected to ground hopefully that makes sense so we are all uh, wired up right now and uh, should be should be good to go and the cord kind of caught on something but uh, let's turn the uh, power on and um, so the lamp is at its brightest setting and there you can see it turned on uh, pretty quick right there I bumped up the uh, current a little bit because I wasn't sure how much current would flow. Now, if it was extremely bright, um, current might get uh, really high. So I had a flashlight in uh, this area. I don't know where it went. Um, but in any case, if it gets uh, bright enough, that might be uh, too much. We might want a resistor in a series with the uh, photo down. I'm not sure. But in uh, any case, once the capacitor charges up, um, current's going to stop flowing anyways until you press the button right there that's when you would have the high current so yeah only like two milliamps of uh, current is flowing right now so not very much at uh, at this light level there you can see now that's uh, mostly the current of the LED the uh, photo dial probably isn't even passing current anymore turning the lamp down this will probably say zero yeah right there zero when I had the uh, switch closed that's when we had the most current Less than one milliamp, probably. This isn't completely accurate. It's like a milliamp or something. Um, but in case, very low amount of light is falling on the photo diode. Now, you saw before, I turned the lamp down. The red LED turned on pretty quick. The output went low. And uh, now it turned on because the output went low. Took a long time because we had the lower light. So in any case, thought I would do a slower paced uh, video. Now, you wanna see the circuit and the schematic together again uh, there you go so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video